Hello everybody, let's look into this video, the 5 trends that are going to dominate the news in the technology world in 2025. The 5 that we are going to deep dive today are Number 1, AI innovation Number 2, H1B visas Number 3, global capability centers, GCC Number 4, how venture capital trends are influencing the AI market And number 5 is coding and marketing tech in general so let's start with the first one, which is AI innovation. Yes, in 2025, there is a possibility that we hear about AI even more than what we have heard about in 2024. And why is that? I'll give you two simple examples on the type of innovation that is happening right now in the AI world. Number one, imagine there were a lot of dashboards previously or even till today, right? If a senior business leader is thinking about business or trying to analyze what's happening in the business. Or in your company, there is a quarterly review meet, performance meet and your CEO is coming and showing you some certain dashboards. And this is what happens across the entire leadership teams. These dashboards are built by some engineers and they get automatically refreshed. But the lifetime of these dashboards is literally very short. Now, what is happening is AI is coming and creating chatbots where executives, individuals, even freshers, everybody is able to communicate with the data within the company with much higher speeds without the required technical knowledge. So this particular change itself is going to change how the entire world is currently working. So this is just one example. Another example could be AI agentic workflows. And what does this mean? Let's take for example, your team is working on creating the sign-on, login, register, this entire module, right? Whenever a user is entering any type of website, all these actions, certain users commit. And you as a technology guy are creating these things at the back end. And the other thing could be, hey, you are working on another team and another team could be working on creating a new feature. If it's an e-commerce website, then hey, what is the price of a particular product, etc., etc. Now, these are two independent teams, independent works that are happening. Now, this particular portion can be completely automated. This particular portion can be automated and together they are adding something called as an AI planner in between. And the planner is communicating with team one or the automation agent number one and the agent number two. So just like how project managers come, scrum masters come and combine these two things, and explain what is happening across teams, LLM planners, AI planners will take over that entire work. This is fantastic type of innovation that we will see that the entire efficiencies in the model will increase. New type of job opportunities, new ways of working will come because of this. Before we proceed forward to the next section of the video, a quick shout out to our partners. Odin Schools applied generative AI course that they have launched in collaboration with ENICT Academy, IIT Gauhati. It's a live instructor led course where you will be learning technologies and tools to build and deploy generative AI models. These are not just theoretical Critical concepts, but you will actually be executing them on 20 plus practical projects. Once you complete the course, you will be certified by ENICT Academy IIT Gohati, and along with that, you will also get the course completion certificate. Not just that, you are also eligible for the two day immersive program at the IIT Gohati campus. The course is taught by the mentors from the academic world and also experts from the corporate world. Once you complete the program, you will be eligible for their holistic placement support program, which will continue for 18 months. You will have a lot of mock interviews and behavioral interviews. The course fee is 1,25,000 plus GST. You have options to pay through an EMI and scholarships are also available. A highly recommended program. So please go ahead and check out the program through the link in the description. Now coming back into the video, the second trend that I want to talk about, which could dominate the news for the next year completely is H-1B visas. And why is that the case? If we look into what was happening a few years back, in 2012, United Kingdom, UK, has removed something called as post-work visa, which is once you graduate, do you get work visa versus not? Can you stay back for search for a job? That particular visa was removed in 2012. And the number of people who were planning to go to UK and the number of people who are actually going to UK also has come down. Now with the new president 
with the new entire administration, how and what type of reforms would be brought into the H-1B scenario is anybody's guess at this moment. If somebody says that, hey, I know exactly what is going to happen with H-1B, good luck believing them. Now, this will definitely change some short-term movement towards how students would perceive the opportunities in the US. Would they want to go ahead and do their masters? Would it be still be conducive to go ahead and do a H-1B job? Because hey, if your spouse would get a visa versus not, that could be another factor, right? So all these things net net could change how people would think about H-1B visas, at least in the short to mid term. And then in the long run, again, I think things will fall back in place. Just like how the UK visa situation sorted out by itself over here as well, there is a very high possibility that situations will come under control. But in the short term, there could be a lot of uncertainty. The third thing is about global capability centers, GCCs. And what are GCCs? Well, a huge American or a European company, instead of giving their work to Infosys, TCS or any other type of services company, they'll say that, hey, we'll set up our own office in India and we'll do our technology work from there. That is the global capability center. By the end of four years, India is expected to have 2,500 GCCs, 2.5 million jobs. And these jobs would range from freshers to mid-level career professionals to experienced professionals. You will see the whole spectrum. And these GCCs have good work culture because they are primarily run by the American companies, the American leaders. And then add on top of that, the salaries are also going to be good compared to the services industry. Net net, this is an exciting area. This will continue to grow and you will hear a lot more about GCCs in 2025. Now, the only and the interesting challenge with respect to GCCs is that, hey, where will you find information about GCCs? Where will you get to know what type of opportunities are available in these GCCs? Now, once a company is set up, for example, there were a few pharma companies that were set up in Chennai in mid 2024. Now, once these type of companies are set up, a lot of hiring, close to 50 to 60% of the hiring would be done in the first six months. So you have to be on your toes. These are great opportunities. And all you need to do is just understand, hey, what is happening in the market? Keep up to it. Make sure that you are reading the news. Do follow the channel as well. I'll try to be as consistent as possible going forward. And I will give you any type of information that I get regarding the GCCs going forward. So please make sure you are on top of it. Every single means possible because one single opportunity could literally change your career path. The fourth trend that I want to highlight is the venture capital funding. Well, after the 2021-2022 boom of how venture capital firms have invested in startups, we have seen 2023-2024, the number of investments have started to come down. But however, there is always a pattern. When AI is about to grow, none of the venture capital firms also don't want to leave this entire hype, right? If it grows, well and good. They can go ahead and make some money. If not, they will lose some money for sure. But the entire job, the entire nature of the venture capital industry is to take risks and they will continue to take these risks. Now, the question is, where will this money go? And why is it important for you? If we take a step back again, there is AI innovation happening. I gave you two examples like how the consumption of data is changing and how more and more agentic workflows are coming into the picture. Similarly, there are a lot of tools that are coming in the market which are helping the developers build their codes much faster. Efficiencies, domain specific tools, right? And there is a large scope for these tools to take over the market. So. The AI specific tools is one definite area where you will see a lot of funding going in in 2025. And if you want to keep up with the pace, again, do understand where these companies are investing. When VCs are investing, they are doing a due diligence. They are believing in not just like some assumptions, but they have their own analysis as well. And we can trust that analysis to a very large extent. So please do follow that portion of the news. The fifth segment is about marketing tech. Now, marketing tech has already been transforming quite a bit because 
well videos any type of content is now being created through ai chat gpt has released their latest version of sora the text to video model on december 9th 2024 this is revolutionary because once you input a small prompt you will get a 20 second high resolution video now to create a 20 second high resolution video typically videographers cinematographers editors a lot of work should go into the place now all of that is cut down through one single prompt well there is a lot more of innovation to be done in this space honestly but this is a great starting point and i can see that the entire marketing tech so far it has been about how the text can be automatically generated but going forward it is not just about text but also audio and video now you can see end of the day the ai innovation is leading at multiple places so if you really want to move forward if you are thinking about making these new year resolutions and trying to move forward in your career in this new year do not ignore the keyword ai thank you so much guys hope you have a great year ahead and we'll see you soon in the next one bye bye